going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Oh my gosh, guys, Happy New Year. Girl, I, I hate this part of the year. It's the same thing I see on Facebook, I see on Instagram and Twitter. It's like, new year, new me. New year, new me. It's the same damn thing, girl. They're still going to be with their cheating ass boyfriend, lying in the house, ain't got no job. They're still going to be fighting, girl. All this, like, girl, new year, new me. It's 2020. It's the same thing, girl. Okay, speaking of the same thing, more... <laughs> More drama has came about with Trisha Paytas. She has now posted the day after. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, girl, where have you been? Watch yesterday's video and then come back for the fresh tea on this one, okay? So here we go. So she posted a new video, well, new photo of her in bed with Jacqueline Hill's ex-husband. Jacqueline Hill's ex-husband? What are you doing, girl? It has been exposed. It has been exposed that uh, Jacqueline Hill's ex-husband, John Hill, his ex-girlfriend, not Jacqueline Hill, because remember, he was married to Jacqueline Hill, they got divorced, and then he dated an a Instagram YouTuber, and then now he's with Trisha Paytas, through YouTuber, YouTuber, YouTuber. Do we see a pattern here? He has a thing for YouTubers. Who knew, right? Well, the girl, the YouTuber, has exposed some information. So stay tuned. So we're going to talk about that in a minute, girl. But you know what? I, I have I've read the comments. A lot of people are saying. So here's what T-Spell said. Trisha making out with John for shock value shows the kind of person she is. I'm not the biggest Jacqueline fan, but imagine waking up to see your co-worker hooking up with your ex-husband all over social media. Wow. Okay, so I think a lot of people are thinking this. Uh, I think a lot of people are really excited and they're like, oh my gosh, Trisha's queen. Like they're like diving into it, like a, like a bandwagon thing. But then a lot of people are like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Once they sip the tea, they're like, wait a minute, this, this is kind of wrong, girl. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. This is Shady the House. What is Trisha Paytas doing? Shame, shame, shame on you. Blah, 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 blah. And I can see it, girl. I see that a lot of women are very upset because they're like, you know what? I had my man stolen or I, I seen my ex-husband, boyfriend, whatever, go off with someone, another colleague or, you know, someone I used to work with or whatever. Like, it's sad. So a lot of people feel for Jacqueline Hill, right? They're like, oh man, it's sad, you know? It's drama, it's tea, but at the same time, it's very sad, you know? So I wish Jacqueline Hill the best because obviously she's not bothered, girl, because here's what she posted on her Instagram. My friend just gave me her corn dip recipe and I'm so excited to make it for New Year's Eve. It's simple, but so amazing. <sighs> okay, Jacqueline Hill and the ex-girlfriend have also been fighting. This was an old tweet I found. Here we go. Jacqueline, good story, but what the chapter do you really find? Shut the F up. You want to delete your response, so let me be clear about one thing. You are not going to play the victim with me. You can manipulate your way through these followers of yours, mine, but not mine. Whatever. Then Jacqueline Hill put, I deleted my tweet because I realized how petty it was. You need to go through your process with John. I've been there where you're at. Believe me, what you want. Yes. I find it weird that almost every girl John has dated has started a YouTube channel, but that's just my opinion. Okay, so that was OT. Fresh new tea is the ex-girlfriend has now posted this. Ha ha ha, I just spoke, wait, I just talked to dude on the phone, which is John Hill, for the first time in forever the other day, and he said this was planned to piss people off. I guess it's working. And that was in response to another uh, Twitter user that said, honestly, they're doing it all for clout and it's working because I'm a sucker and love the type of effery. So there you go. So what I'm trying to say is that John Hill had called up the ex-girlfriend and was like, look, based on this tweet, we're, we're gonna, um, girl, we're gonna do a little stunt and I'm gonna do this thing with Trish Payas and we're gonna make people upset and blah, blah, blah. This is what she's saying. So, and everybody was believing it. Everybody was believing it at the house until the ex-girlfriend had to go ahead and put out this tweet 
to let everybody know that it was fake the house. So now Trisha Pay is probably gonna be very angry and she's gonna come for her too, girl. She's gonna find out who her, her, who her ex was and take them away too, girl. So I don't know, it's getting very messy, but it's very entertaining, but it is very messy. Happy New Year. That's pretty much it. All right, so there's a, you, you might know this YouTuber, Colleen Ballinger, or whatever, you know what I'm talking about? So she posted this video called Trying On Weird Amazing Wedding Dresses. Now, she says that she worked very hard on this video and that YouTube had took her video down and demonetized it and all this stuff like that. And it's hard for her, okay? And that's hard for her to put content up nowadays. So I was like, you know what? I'ma start a channel. I'ma put my channel in the link. I have a second channel now. It's like a vlog channel. We'll see if I do anything with it, but it's a backup channel because people keep saying they're gonna delete my channel. So at least I have a backup channel, my vlog channel. So I'll put that down below if you wanna check it out. Okay, so here's what Colleen Badger said in her rant girl, roller girl. Exciting news, YouTube decided they didn't like my last video, so I had to delete it and re-edit it and re-upload it, but it's up now so you guys can watch it. Also, Lynn is wearing JoJo shoes. So I'm a hot mess and I had to delete my video and re-edit it and re-upload it. And when I did that, I somehow included a weird random clip from my vlog that's like unedited and raw and stupid. And I also accidentally put in like weird clips from the thumbnail. I don't know how I did this, but it's in the video randomly and it's really awkward and weird and stupid and it proves how dumb I am. Well, luckily YouTube has a feature where you can edit the video after you've uploaded it. So I just did that but it takes a few hours before the edit takes place. So if you wanna see how I'm a hot mess and left in random, raw, unedited clips, and I'm just so stupid, now's your chance before YouTube editing kicks in and it's gone forever. So swipe up if you wanna watch my hot mess editing horrible skills before they're gone forever. I hate myself. I'm curious, do you guys like when I put the text on the screen as I'm talking? I usually watch Insta stories silent. So when people talk, I don't know what they're saying. And I follow a few people who write out everything they say and it really helps me and I love it because then I know what they're saying even with the sound off. Do you guys like this or is it annoying to you? Should I keep doing it or not? Let me know because um, I really like it, but maybe it's annoying to some people. So tell me. So fun fact, my brother is hard of hearing. So my entire life, we had closed caption when we watched television and movies. So I cannot watch TV or movies without closed captioning. Um, I feel like I miss everything. I can't really hear or understand people if I'm watching a screen unless I'm reading along. So that's another reason I really like the text on the screen. Um, but I'm curious if anyone else is like that as well. Like literally if I'm watching a movie or a TV show and there's not closed captioning, I don't know what they're saying. This is the first day in over a month that I didn't vlog. I was vlogging every day. By the way, I'm not with a random person. It's this dog talking, because this is my life now. Weird creatures talking to me at all times when I didn't ask them a question. Uh, yeah, I'm not vlogging today. Hey guys, so my voice is starting to come back. I'm so excited. Now I can speak again and annoy everyone in my life. Um, but I have some really annoying news for anyone who watches my YouTube channel. Also, what is happening here? It's really frustrated right now because YouTube has all these new rules and regulations and they're constantly adding new rules and more regulations on how to make a living on YouTube essentially. So if your video is too family friendly and too much for kids, they'll demonetize you, limit your videos and basically hide your videos. If your content is too mature, they will demonetize you, limit your videos. If you say certain things, act certain ways, um, a lot of things can get you basically punished on YouTube and make it hard to make a living. So recently I worked really hard on these videos that I'm really proud of where I found a bunch of wedding dresses. I spent a lot of money on these wedding dresses and um, I tried them all on for you guys. It was really fun and I worked on this for weeks for y'all and YouTube just decided that the video of me trying on all the wedding dresses is not suitable for advertisers and I don't even know why. They just decided it's not good and so they demonetized it and they limited the video. So it's basically gonna be like a dead video on my channel and I'm so sad. So I'm taking it down and I'm gonna re-edit it and look at all the rules and regulations of YouTube and figure out what happened and try to re-upload it 
tomorrow. So if you are trying to watch it and you can't, I'm gonna re-upload it tomorrow. But if you've already seen it, I'd really appreciate it if you watch it again when I re-upload it because now I feel like no one's gonna watch it. So I'm really sad. <laughs> well, I don't know, girl. I don't know what you think about that. I feel bad for her, but at the same time, this woman is a millionaire, girl, okay? She had like, what, two Netflix series? And she's still on YouTube. I thought most people like try to get on TV and do movies so they can get off YouTube, but she apparently is still on YouTube. She loves it so much, I love it too. So I don't know, let me think about all that drama and we'll talk about it in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the new year. Bye.